Hello and welcome to the Chess Times, a weekly show in which we take a look at all the happenings in the chess world throughout the week. At the end of each and every episode, we award a particular player with the player of the week and a particular move with the move of the week. Stick around for all the updates throughout this week and to see which player and which move wins this award. Leon Mendonca has just become India's 67th Grandmaster at the age of just 14 years, 9 months and 17 days, right about my age which tells you how unsuccessful I am as a chess player. Getting back to topic, he is the 29th youngest Grandmaster of all time. To give you some perspective, even Ali Reza Firuzia did not become a Grandmaster as young as he is. That just tells you how big of a talent he is and what we can expect from him in the years to come. The pandemic has been difficult for all of us, but Leon has made the most of it. In the span of 9 months, he has pumped his rating all the way up to 2544 and has achieved all 3 Grandmaster norms, which is no small feat considering he did it in just 9 months. He is a really talented player and we cannot wait to see what he has to give us in the years to come. Good news for all the chess players and the chess fans. From 15th January to the 31st of January, you have the Wyke and Z tournament aka the Tata Seal Masters 2021. Yes, it's back like it is every single year and it will be played over the board which means players will be playing face to face rather than on a computer screen. Best players in the world are obviously participating. You have Magnus, Fabiano, Maxime Vachel Lagraf, you have David Anton Giharo, you have Ali Reza Firuzia and a lot of exciting players as well. You can check everything out about this tournament in the description down below. I'll put a link to the official website of it. After you watch the video, go ahead and take a look at that. Big news for the next World Chess Championship match which will be held in Dubai in 2021 by the way. So FIFA, ICC, Formula 1, all of them, whenever they organize an event, they have a title sponsor. Maybe Coca-Cola, Red Bull, Adidas, Puma, Reebok, something. It is always a title sponsor. For the first time, FIDE is open to having a title sponsor for the World Championship 2021. And right now, it seems very likely that there will be one. This is excellent news for chess. Let's talk about the Air Things Master, the biggest event of this week. It's now down to the finals where you have Magnus Carlsen was eliminated by Daniel Dubov in the quarterfinals, by the way. It was a big upset, but it wasn't really a shock. It was a it was something fresh, but it was it was different. It was very, very interesting. Dubov played very interesting games throughout the tournament. However, in the semi-finals, he just couldn't make it through to the finals. In the end, the finals was Temur Rajabo versus Levon Aronian and as of recording and at the time of publishing this video only the first match of the finals has taken place. In the first match Temur Rajabo has won it which means he is in the lead in the match and going into match 2 Levon Aronian needs to win the second match and after he does there will be two blitz games and the players still cannot be separated there will be an Armageddon. So in next week's update of the Chess Times, you will find out, or probably if you follow the tournaments, you'll know, you can see who has actually won the Air Things Masters. In the picture on the screen, you will find the photos of Levon Aronian and Timur Rajabo, the two finalists of the Air Things Masters. Comment below if you can spot the two of them and if you can spot anybody else in the photo. The player of this week is Leon Mendonca. Now personally, I would have liked to give it to the winner of the Air Things Masters. But the winner of the Air Things Masters, at least where I am, will be found out on Monday late in the night. Which is why it doesn't really count as this week. Which means Leon Mendonca, who is very deserving of this, he has just become a Grandmaster, 67th Indian Grandmaster, one of the brightest talents in world chess. He is the winner of the player of the week. Now it's time to find out which move wins the move of the week. The move of the week comes from the game Maxime Vachel Lagraf vs Daniel Dubov. Dubov is playing black and they are fighting for the third spot in the Air Things Masters. Here Dubov plays a stunning move, he plays rook takes f3. And after gf3 rook f3, it seems like black has gained nothing for the exchange. But in reality, bishop h4 is a very serious threat and after which you take on g3 and the king is completely exposed. Maxime tried rook g1, 
and after queen f7 attacking f2 he played rook g2 and now Dubov played bishop h4 and now Maxim is already in a very difficult position he played king g1 trying to defend f2 further but there isn't much he can really do with the white pieces and Dubov demonstrates this with a very calm move he plays b6 and surprisingly there is, a not, there is nothing that Maxim can actually do in this position. He tried queen e2 with the idea that after knight a4 he'll go knight f5. But Dubov just took on f2 and after everything got taken on f2 he took on f5, took on c3. And now he is down on exchange but he is up 3 pawns. And Dubov went on to win this game. You can find this game in the link down below in the description. So there you are guys. That is this weekend's The Chess times if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe you can check my previous videos somewhere on the screen i'm not sure exactly where you'll find my other videos stay tuned for more chess